The post plunge brunch. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. On the Polar Plunge 2009. So why did you decide to do that? Uh, I heard about it from some friends of mine and it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I always wanted to try to push my body to the limits and uh, it was worth it. So you plan to do it next year? I think so. I mean, it's one of those things I think uh, I'll help raise money for sure, but doing it again, now that I've done it, I feel like, you know, if I have people there who would like to do it, I'd do it with them. I noticed people were doing it in teams. Uh huh. What yeah. was your team? Uh, I was with The Spot. That's a bar and restaurants that we work with, my company works with, and uh, they do it every year. This is actually the fourth year doing it. So. Your first time? This is my first time. I believe in athletics, bettering people's lives and especially with something like the Special Olympics because it's for people who are handicapped and I think that arts and sports and athletics are really important. How do you feel? Uh, good adrenaline rush, cold, waiting. I had to wait about 20 minutes outside in a t-shirt and shorts, but uh, once you dive in, you really don't feel anything until about 20 seconds afterwards once the adrenaline comes down, uh, you realize that your feet are frozen. Yes, I want to thank you guys. I want to let you know that I went all out. Uh, I tried to go snorkeling, didn't see any fish. And uh, most of all, your money is going to help a huge event, which I think they had over 1,500 people show up. So you're a part of something really big, and I believe that they're going to hit their target of $200,000 for the next Special Olympics. Thank you. So, um, is your first time at the Polar Plunge? It is. Yeah. How do you feel? It was amazing. It was an amazing experience for a great cause. So I enjoyed myself. You were there to support Adam. I was. And you're one of his biggest supporters. Yes. I definitely try to seek people out to contribute to this great organization it's for a great cause and uh, anything that anybody gave was greatly appreciated so it was it was a good time even though it was really cold out it was worth it yeah we noticed it was pretty cold yeah it was we were definitely numb the whole time we were there but um, they provided heat for us <laughs> which was nice but um waiting for them the, the, it was it was an amazing it was an amazing time. I can't say anything else. So. Thank you. I've always seen it on TV, but I never knew anybody who was involved. So it was really cool to go down there and watch Adam do that. And obviously I love Adam very much. He's part of my family. So um, that's the reason why I thought it was important to go out and support him. You wanna do it next year? Maybe. You might pull a plunge yourself? Maybe we'll see. What would you say to anyone who's thinking about it? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. well, do it at your own risk. I'm really proud of you, Adam, for having done it. Both Robert and I were real excited when we got the email from Rosa asking for some donations and we were very excited to be a part of it and we decided to come down and really enjoy the experience. When you get involved in an event like that, people get excited. You could see from the footage that people get dressed up in costume and some people have been doing it every year for a long time. So that draws attention and I think it's it's a great idea. I didn't think too many people would come. I didn't really, I, yeah, I totally did not think anybody was gonna come. Yeah. I was like a small group of people. And it was cold, but it was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming. My pleasure.